Hello, my name is Maria de Souza. I am the founder of Poster Queen and this is a place for you to learn all things good posture and movement for a life without pain. Today I'd like to talk about maintaining and helping yourself to maintain good posture when you're sitting at your desk. One of the best advices I can give you in order for you to maintain a more balanced body and therefore maintain better posture is to use more of your known predominant side. We all have a predominant side. We are all, um, either right-handed or left-handed. And we tend to use much more of the predominant side than the other side. That's normal. But what that does to you or to your bo body is it creates misalignment in the body. And that with time, um, in 5, 10, 15, 20 years, it will have some kind of impact in your body and will turn into some kind of pain. So when you're sitting at your desk, bring as much as you can to your known predominant side. So in my case is my left side because I'm right-handed. Bring your phone, bring your stationery, um, anything that you can and bring to your left hand side, do that. The only thing that I more or less maintain on the right side is my cup of tea that I haven't got used to yet to have it on the other side, but you can try that as well. One thing that I've insisted for myself was to get used to use my mouse on the left hand side. And I tell you that it took me a good week of frustration to create that habit and to be comfortable with that. And the main reason why um, I did that is because I was um, having pain on, your, on my right hand side every time I used the mouse and clicked. So I didn't have any other option but um, train myself to use the other side and I've never looked back. I'm happy to use the mouse on the left hand side and um, that's what I do. You can try that as well if you want. Another tip that I can give you is first watch, watch my video about your best friends, your seed bones, because that will um, tie um, in nicely with this video. And then after you watch that, you know how to sit on your sit bones. And then it's important that you face your computer, that you are facing it straight ahead and that you're not on the side. You can be on the side if you have the whole of yourself on the side. So the, 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 the important thing here is that you are symmetrical as opposed to be working, doing things like that, coming out of the symmetry and causing um, discomfort in a body. So make sure you are symmetrical, symmetrical and that you are looking down ever so slightly. So you don't want to be looking up to your screen or too far down, ever so slightly down. That allows you to keep comfort, to keep the back of your neck comfortable. So you can always judge um, by paying attention to what the back of your neck is telling you. If your back of your neck is hurting, that might be because you are either looking up or looking down too much. Another thing is your um, lower arms. Make sure that they are parallel to the floor. You don't have your arms hanging down or hanging up. You want them parallel to the floor as you type. Another thing is if you don't have a standing desk, a desk that um, lifts, you can always create your own. 
all you need, you need to have is a pile of books on the side that you can easily bring and put your computer on and you go through those um, points as I did before. Please watch my video about standing desks because there you will have many more tips to stand in a way that is safe. So these are my tips for you for today and I hope this is of value to you and if it is as ever please share this video around with your friends so that we spread the healing and I'll be back with more tips. So I'll see you at the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye now.